My name's Simon Wilson and I'm the European Tour Rep for True Temper Sports. Uh, we came out with that Project X Blue part um, three years ago and we felt that there was a gap in the marketplace, or definitely on tour, um, to bring something out that was a little stiffer in the tip than a lot of players had been, had been using. Um, and we basically used the, the EI profile that we use on the Project Tech irons in the, in the graphite technology. So um, stiff in the handle, a little softer in the middle, stiffer in the tip. So the player can feel the golf shaft, but also gets the benefits of having something that's solid in his hand and something that's, that's stiff in the tip that's not going to vary too much the uh, dispersion of the ball. Basically, we can alter spin um, two ways. There's, there's flags that you can put in the tip, which are little V-shaped uh, graphite parts that can increase the stiffness. And also, by wrapping more graphite around the tip, we can make something stiffer um, in, which, in which we can vary the spin rates. Um, obviously, you don't want something um, that's soft not to spin, and you don't want something that's very stiff to spin. So you're just trying to find those variances in the different, different stiffnesses um, for different types of player. Obviously, when you look down the range at a PGA Tour tournament, you get you know, player A and player D, someone that's very strong and, and hits the ball 320 yards, and then someone that's not so strong that's maybe trying to hit the ball 260, 270. There's big variances in what those players are going to use and what's going to work for those different players. So what we try to do is to give an across the board um, range of, of shafts that are going to achieve that goal. It can. <laughs> I mean, there's various factors that go, obviously, that go into that. Obviously, the CG, the golf club head. Um, the, the, the player himself, you know, the, the type of swing he has, you know, is he steep, is he shallow, is he inside out, outside in, so there's a lot of different factors, but definitely the shaft can absolutely have a, a defect on, uh, uh, sorry, an effect on, on dynamic loft. All right, so the, the first uh, run that we did, uh, Don Brown, our engineer back in California, wanted to do something different. And what we decided to do is to three-part the code. And it, it is quite complicated if you don't work with it every day. But basically, the first part of the code is the, the, gram of, the gram weight of the shaft. So if it's a 6, 60 grams, 7, 70 gram, et cetera. So basically, we got 6, 7, and 8. And then to define the, uh, the stiffness of the shaft is A, B, and C. So basically, uh, uh, an A is a 7.0, a B is a 6.5, and a C is a 6.0. So they get softer as they go down. And then um, Don decided, in his infinite wisdom, that what he would do is um, the third number is the number of cycles or times that it took him to get it right. Hence, the 6C12 not been his greatest effort, and probably the 6A3 been his best. Um, and um, basically, uh, it was the amount of times that we that we that he had to wrap the different um, shafts around different mandrels to get the performance that he was looking for and the playability he was looking for in that particular shaft. Hence, you know, um, a lot of the more popular ones didn't take him too long. Six A four been a really popular driver shaft. Seven A three and eight A four been you know uh, three wooden and fairway wood shafts that we've had a lot of success with, and we won a major championship with, by the way.